And so to the Paris derby with Stade Francais hosting Racing Metro at the Stade de France. Racing president Jackie Lorenzetti put a no nudity clause into contracts after Henri Chavancy posed for Stade's calendar this season. Chavancy was stripped of the ball here, but Felipe Contipomi knocked on over the line and there was no score for Stade, leading to boos from their fans in the 71,000 crowd. Improving Stad notched the first point through the trusty right boot of Julian Dupuis. And Stad added to their lead with a try on 25 minutes. Contipomi attacked the line. Then Dupuis invited Sergio Parise to have a charge. It needed a final push. And with the referee playing advantage to Stad, it came from Pascal Pape, the French international second row. Dupuis converted for 10-0 and then Contipomi added a drop goal as Racing's first game since sacking backs coach Simon Mannix and replacing him with Gonzalo Quesada was shaping up to be a disaster. You can expect more of this with this the first of six Paris derbies to be played at the Stade de France over the next three seasons. Racing were 16-0 down before they at last got on the scoreboard. Jonathan Wisniewski with the penalty. Contipomi replaced Dupuis as kicker after the scrum half substitution and the Argentinian knocked over two more pens. Jerome Fiol was branded a traitor by Lorenzetti after leaving Racing for a second spell at Stad, and Fiol enjoyed the last laugh in this game, running in for a try as Stad moved above Racing in the table for the first time since September 2010. Local bragging rights seemingly up for grabs again with Stad resurgent and Racing worryingly inconsistent and 29-3 losers on the day. Pomi with the coup de grace and Stad wanted to celebrate with former president Max Grazzini. Stad supporters are beginning to dream of the return of the glory days to the capital.